Have you guys ever seen how hot dogs are being made? What about sausages? Well, today I'll be going over a quote by Bon Bismarck, in which he states that laws are like sausages. It's better not to see them being made. And I agree with this quote because I'm pretty sure we, most of us knew how sausages or even like chicken nuggets were being made, we probably wouldn't eat them. Just like laws where we accept them for what they are, but most of us don't know the process that goes into making them. And I'll be dissecting this quote by focusing how sausages are being made, followed by how laws are being made. So a compare and contrast of these two. And yeah, I'll be going. <laughs> um, beginning with how sausages are made. So sausages are made through a mixture of animal meats and parts. So you get all the meats together, you grind them up, and then you mix them together which doesn't really sound that delectable. However, after they're made, they're being stuffed into animal intestines and then wound together. So through my description, it doesn't really sound that good, right? You wouldn't really want to eat them if you watched every step, every step of the process of sausages being made. However, how many of us eat sausages? Most of us. So because we don't know the, stop, the steps that goes into making sausages, we can still enjoy them. And this is, and going to my second point, laws are much like sausages, or the steps like sausages. We have one person propose a law, and then everybody's ideas go into that law, and we mix it all together, and then we come out with the finished product, a law. So, most of us don't know the, pro the, the process that goes into the law, where many people argue for months to even years, and then sometimes the product doesn't even get finished. But, but we still accept the final product for what it is. In conclusion, I agree with the quote that says that laws are like sausages, and it's better not to see them being made. And that was good, though. That was good. No, keep that. That's your souvenir for the day. All right, Golden, uh, the rhetorical question at the beginning is actually kind of a variation of the quote itself. Not too bad. Uh, it was all right. Uh, your purpose statement was clearly stated. I thought that was good. There's a preview of what the supporting structure is going to be, although you sound like you thought you had a third point but couldn't remember what it was. Maybe that was that blank spot as you were transitioning to the main body of the speech. The content is a little thin. It's basically just talking about uh, the individual points and saying what you can think of about it. Uh, there's not really a lot of analysis. There's not a very interesting example. You're very literal with the way you were going on this. Uh, fortunately, you lucked out a little bit knowing something about making sausages that doesn't sound all that appealing, but you were able to talk about it slightly. Um, the presentation issues, your voice is fine, it projects pretty well, and I think there's pretty good variety. However, the hesitations and the pauses, that's the thing that's giving away the anxiety and uncertainty. You have one big one when you're transitioning to the main part of the speech, and then kind of at the end, it seems like you got tripped up again. So you want to try and be a little bit more fluent about uh, the presentation. Gestures, you have a tendency to do this sort of thing while you're speaking. You're kind of holding your own hand the whole time. and. 
you do break it up with some indicators as you're speaking and you need to do that a little bit more. I think if you were a little bit more engaged with your body movement that would also seem more natural because you're stopped in the one spot most of the time. It feels like it's uh, comfortable to have your hand holding your other hand like that. But if you move around a little bit like you walk the transitions between points, I think you'll find that it's a lot more natural to separate your hands and do some more of those indicators. Um, facial expressions are okay and you generally look at the audience uh, and I think uh, we already mentioned that at the end he couldn't quite tell that you were finished that's where that hesitation sort of tripped you up a little bit all right thank you